Good morning everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Mike and I'm here today to bring you today's video where I'm not necessarily going to talk about Bitcoin technical analysis, but today I'm going to be doing something different and I'm gonna talk about three things that I wish that I knew when I started out trading. I have been trading for a while, I have gotten a lot of experiences and naturally when I started out, when I started meddling with the markets, uh, I was obviously not a good trader right off the bat. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got myself in all sorts of mess. Um, from all these experiences, uh, mostly uh, that I assumed to be negative in the beginning, naturally, uh, ultimately proved uh, really, really, really great learning opportunities. And um, today I'm going to enlighten on what I believe are three key things that I wish I knew when I really started out. So if you like this kind of video, if you like the, the content, if you're curious to know more, then leave a like and subscribe in this video. Give us a follow on social media. Uh, would make us really, really happy and um, also would allow us to, to keep on doing what we do, which is uh, providing education about financial markets. Uh, not financial advice, but for educational purposes only. Uh, having that said, um, let's begin and enjoy. So, rule number one, make a plan. What do I mean with that is don't ever just open up your computer, open up your charts. Um, you see that something is happening and you just jump into a trade right away. This is a very, very, very quick way to uh, wrecked city, as I would like to call it. Uh, naturally, it happened to me many, many, many times. And uh, it usually happened uh, because I did not have a plan. I saw that price was moving. I saw that some kind of important level was, uh, was lost or reclaimed or sometimes not even that. I would just open up my computer and just smash the buy or sell button just right away. I did not have a plan. I have had, I don't have any idea of, of what the context was at the time. And there I sat finding myself in a trade, usually with instant regret, but unable to close out of the trade. So that, that led to very, very high stress levels as I found myself in that trade without having a plan, because the moment that I hit that button, basically that is the moment where you where you're starting to think like okay where am i wrong then or and actually where am i gonna trade that too that leads to very stressful situations because price uh usually usually um uh, it happens so that that people tend to make these kind of decisions when they are uh when there is volatility in the market uh putting extra uh stress on 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 this process so for that reason uh, jumping into a trade without having a plan price moving up and down really quickly is not going to help um, <laughs> in your decision making so to speak so i would say spend the time before you go into the trade and and, and i think this is this is um, definitely um, a very 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 important uh, uh, thing spend the time that you would normally staring at the charts maybe uh, antagonizing about the the wrong kind of decision making that you've made maybe you are emotionally affected by by uh, some capital that you might have lost uh, or the opposite or you might be very euphoric where you have made massive amounts of profits and and this is the the moment where you um just don't even think of, of 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 trading your plan anymore so you know it's not only fear that that causes these kind of issues it, it it's also uh when it has been going really well that um you you become overconfident and you jump into trades without uh making a proper plan and uh in the end resulting that into um giving back a lot of the profits that you've made so make a plan Spend the time beforehand uh, into, into researching what, what are the key levels, do your technical analysis. 
uh, generate overall context of the market. Which way do you think it might go? And where is that key level? And if that key level is, for example, being lost, then uh, what level is then going to be next? And where should you then enter into the trade? Um, where is your trade idea invalidated? And where is your take profit? Uh, where are your take profits target? And, and, and where are you um, going to trade it towards too? So not only that is, is already a whole lot better than just blindly jumping into a trade and while being exposed in the market, um, then making a plan. But this uh, helps you to provide multiple scenarios to trade from. So you can trade one idea. Let's say if you think that price is going to go down, then you can talk to yourself or then you can make a plan for yourself that covers for that, for more downside. But if you're wrong on that idea, if you have planned ahead, then it also allows you to also have a plan ready that when you're wrong, then you can, you know, then your your other ideas is into play. And that results in, in informed decision making and helps you stay calm and collected, uh, which are, in my opinion, one of the key aspects that you need as a professional trader. You cannot allow yourself to trade on emotions. So very, 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 very important. Make a plan, spend some time before you actually get into the trade, know exactly what you're going to do when, it, uh, when, when price does this. If it doesn't happen, then you know exactly what to do when, when, uh, when price does that. Um, and then all you have to do is because you've already made a plan, when it actually happens, you don't have to blindly just enter into a trade. You just execute that specific plan. So rule number one, make a plan. Really, really, really important. The second thing that I wish I knew is don't overexpose yourself. And I, I figured that probably this is this is one that uh, might be really easy or might be really obvious. But there's a few details that I would like to enlighten about. So naturally, you only want to trade with money that, that you are okay with losing. The thing is that, uh, and, and this is in particularly true in the cryptocurrency markets, because the, the barrier for entry is a lot lower. Uh, you don't need a lot of capital to actually... Um, you know, trade in the markets. So what, you know, what, what happens very often is uh, that first of all, you, you're focused on, on, on the making money uh, aspect of things. So if you are starting out with, let's say a low capital, it is really attractive to, <coughs> you know, put in way more money than you actually wanted or supposed to. Uh, even if you do have a proper risk management strategy, if you overexpose yourself, that gives you very little space to let your trade actually breathe. And then what happens? Uh, and I do speak from experience, you know. So that is why I think it is uh, very, very important to um, yeah, be aware of not overexpose yourself. Because if you do want to honor your risk management strategy, then... Um, you, you basically uh, have very little wiggle room to to honor that risk management. And that results in you getting stopped out, maybe not, not a lot of losses, or maybe not, not in terms of monetary losses, not, not very high losses as, as per in your incalculated risk management. So let's say you risk 1% one, uh, of your portfolio per trade, and you, you do have more position size than you wanted to, but you get stopped out all the time. If that happens to you a lot, then this will add up over time. Um, probably this is because you have, you know, or one of the main reasons why this is happening is that uh, you are overexposed or you put too much money into the market and that um, does not allow you for, for your stop loss to be placed on a, on a place that actually makes sense. So with that, I mean, um, don't, don't overexpose yourself and, and rather maybe put less money into the, into the market and give your, give your stop loss or your invalidation area more space to breathe. And you will quickly find that you're actually starting to make more consistent gains. 
So rule number two, do not overexpose. And with that naturally comes also don't over leverage, don't trade with more than what you have uh, for obvious reasons, but also uh, so that you have more space for your stop loss to breathe. Then we're moving to the third rule. And I think this is the most important one, have patience. So let's say you have done number one, make a plan. Number two, uh, you have a plan at the ready for all cases, uh, for all scenarios. If, if price goes down, you have a plan for that. But if that doesn't work, then you can always choose for yourself to, to trade your other plan that you have lying around the table or putting uh, that, that is now sitting on the shelf. You can take that and execute that plan without emotions. Uh, when it comes to trade management, do not put mo uh, too much money on the line. Uh, give your give your trade space to breathe and also trade uh, a sensible idea. And the third one, have patience. Do not try to play the hero. If you have identified the key level and you find price approaching that key level, that does not necessarily mean that you instantly have to enter into a trade just because it is hitting a level that you have identified. You have to be patient. Sometimes reje uh, rejections or uh, reactions on levels happen very quick, um, but much more often they happen they happen over a more drawn out period of time. So have patience. If if price is approaching a key level and did did not hit that level, for example, exactly yet, um, how often? At least again, a personal, uh, th this all comes from personal experience that you jump into this trade too early, you place your stop loss, um, you know, just for example, below that key level. And then in the end, price bounces a little bit and then actually breaches that key level, stopping you out and then go in the way that you have had planned. If only you would have had a little bit more patience for the level to be actually hit and then to actually see the signs of recovery, that would have provided you with a massive opportunity where you are allowed to place your stop loss a lot closer than you might have anticipated in the first place. So that allows you to, you know, to, to technically uh, add on a larger position size and uh, you have full confirmation that price is going to give a reaction. So for that, have patience, wait for the price to actually hit a key level. You know, that is the moment where your alert uh, goes off, observe what is happening, observe the reaction. And then once the confirmation is being given um, on whatever condition you set for yourself, that can be a change of market structure, that can be a certain signal in, in one of the indicators that you use. Uh, this is a highly personal thing but have patience and wait for confirmation. I would say if you are able to master these three things, then you are definitely well on your way to becoming more consistent in your trading strategies and um, probably going to be a little bit more profitable uh, right, uh, right off the bat. So over the overarching idea is, is essentially me saying, slow down, uh, don't be in a hurry, uh, be, be calm, be collected, analyze the charts for what they are, not for what you want to happen, for example, execute, make a plan, don't put too much money on the line, and then actually have patience uh, and wait for the chart to prove that it is going to uh, play in your direction. And you will see that your win rate will go up uh, significantly and uh, hopefully make, make you a better trader. These are the three things that I really wish I knew when I was starting out because that would have saved me from a lot of um, emotional pain that um, uh, during my learning process. Um, I've been doing this for a while. I have uh, experienced all of this and uh, I think these are really important. And now with this video, I hope that I can share these ideas with you. And I hope that um, now you are also uh, able to make good use of these things and help you to become a better trader. Thank you for watching. And I'm looking forward to the next video. Have a really great day. Bye bye.